one from Saudi Arabia, this Quran. A lot of you have it at home, right? You are using it to read for guidance and whatever you want to read, right? But however, what you have missed, the point you have missed is when you take the front side, there's a lot of pages which has nothing to do with the Quran. A lot of texts they wrote which has nothing to do with the Quran. Those things are the glorification of certain hadith, scholars, imams, prophet, whatever. You have never paid attention, but it is involved in the book, including the book you are holding. Even though it is not part of the guidance you are following, but that doesn't necessarily mean you cannot read the book or use the book. This is what I want people to understand. When you go to such a place, you are not going there to do what the sectarians are doing. Neither are you there to do exactly the things they have instructed. You are only there to do what God has instructed you. That is the difference. So people are mistaking this concept, thinking, oh, we are promoting Arab culture. Look, it is gets to a point people are trying to take Arabs as something this, uh, to, to, to hate about. Let's differentiate between the corrupt people and the tribes we are talking, the tribe we are talking about. If we are talking about Arabs as, as a people in general, that is a different topic. If you are talking about people who have brought corruption into Islam, that is also a different topic. This is not to promote an Arab culture. Islam has nothing to do with Arab culture. The Quran has nothing to do with the Arab culture. However, it is telling you an event or incident which has happened in the time and history, right? So let's see if something has happened in my country, Ghana, and the thing is being written about. Uh, uh, for people who know about this movie, there's a movie Idris Elba went to Ghana to make. It's called Beast of No Nation, right? So this movie was made in Ghana, but it is not a Ghanaian movie, but even though it was made in Ghana. So there's a difference between telling the story about the movie and then telling the story about Ghana. There are two different things altogether. So the Quran tells you about incidents which has transpired or happened or artifacts you can find concerning the deed, which has nothing to do with Arab. So it's not like you are promoting Arab culture. Islam is not Arab culture. None of the things I've said has to do with the Arab culture. None of the things I've said has to do the, the, the acts of promoting shirk. Mine is just to decipher and tell people the right thing. So let's take the hatred out of their hearts thinking that there's a problem with Arabs. Of course, I understand when Arab, some Arabs want to act like they are supreme because the Quran is in Arabic and they, don't, they have to act like it's their religion, but it is not for them. If you understand with knowledge how to decipher things, you can practice your own deed without infiltrating it with external sources. So that is the purpose why I do such lectures to show people this evidence, right? So let's not put our personal you know, opinion and hatred towards the Arabs and think that everything Quran talks about is to be put away. Understand that point. Thank you.